Hi, this is Votani M, and today we're doing a walkthrough of Roads of Rome, Episode 2, Level 6. And we'll just upgrade and we'll use our second Roman to cut down trees. And of course we want the sawmill and the, um, the farm. And we just, we got this sack for a bonus. I don't think at this point it's much of a help to us. So I'm just going to wait on it. Um, we do want to construct this boathouse right away. Oh, whoops. I need to get rid of that snow drift to um, get at these trees over here. And I don't really need three workers just yet. So we're going to chop down trees and build this so we can build our storehouse and fisherman's hut. And of course I don't have enough gold to build the storehouse, so we'll get to that too. On this level, food is really difficult, so although I'm kind of wasting it chopping down trees right now, uh, we really just need to make sure we've got our food situation straightened out. And I might... Yeah, I was thinking of picking up the sack now and getting these trees, but I think we need... Um, we want to have three workers before we do that. And as long as, yeah, I'm gonna have enough, um, I'm gonna have enough wood, so I'll go ahead and do this. By the time I get the gold for this, we'll get wood, wood soon after. So, um, let's talk about the boathouse. If you're kind of new, um, you cannot, okay, you cannot send two Romans across at a time. So what you want to do is not what I just did. What you want to do is send someone across to get food. And then the very next thing you do is send someone across to get, um, to do whatever else you need to do over there. So I'm picking these bushes now because I have the storehouse and the sack bonus. Okay. All right. So as you can see, the road is really packed with stuff that um, we need to get. There are earthquakes on this level. Oh, on cue. They seem to always attack this farm right here. So we'll have to just keep enough wood for that and the two bridges. Um, stone's not going to be a problem. And now, of course, because I focused on the food, we probably will have too much food and not enough stone or gold. But that's fine. Okay, and I don't have enough I don't have enough gold to go back over there and do that yet. So we'll use the actual strategy of waiting for the fisherman's hut to have food. And then the next thing we do will be this, if I can. Oh geez, of course I don't have enough resources. And yeah, I'll go ahead and build up the quarry. Um, that just means less trips that we have to make up there. And again, we are waiting for that food before I try this. Which I don't have enough gold for anyway. All right, got it, just in time, because I don't want somebody to be tied up doing this while there's food sitting there to pick up. Which happened anyway, um, and I think it's okay because we did so good building up our food infrastructure. I think it's okay to kind of do some of this other, other stuff. And you can't, like, I can't reach this wood to do it right now, um, which is really annoying. You have to clear each thing on this level one at a time. Okay, yeah. And I'm obviously way behind on the road, so we're going to do that. And get this bridge going. And get this bridge going. And now it's just a matter of the building and keeping on top of... We still need quite a bit of gold. Uh, And the stone, of course, I, I don't know, we're about halfway there. Oh, it's three per segment, so we're, we're about a third of the way there on stone. I didn't see that I had somebody just sitting there. Um, yeah, 
Okay, um, so I am thinking of doing something different for the next series that I do as far as these time management games. I'm thinking of just doing the hard levels. Um, this level, I think, is one of the first ones that is a little bit tricky along with the one with the fort that we already did. But these low levels, the first two episodes, are pretty easy. So let's see here, we'll get this one. Get some gold, get some stone. Oops, I have somebody just sitting there. Get some food. See, now I'm falling behind on food. And I still need a lot of it, but that's because I was... I had switched my attention over to stone and gold. Yep. Okay. So, I don't know, if you're following these series, let me know what you think of just only doing the hard levels and um, talking about how to get three star or let's say, you know, gold. In this one it's not a three star, it's gold flag, but whatever. You know what I mean? Oh, and I think I'm actually done getting gold. I just picked that up for no reason. Although it is going to give us some extra points. And as usual, we're keeping one in reserve to be able to get the next road segment. And we're almost there. One more. I think we're gonna have another gold flag here. One more. Click, click, click. Okay. So, yep. And I'll just get... Amazingly, this, this food will count towards my points because I got it in before the firework, even though they have to go all that way. All right, so there we go. Gold flag. Caesar's pleased with our work. I'm Photoni M, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.